Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Thursday, March 30th already, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. Not a ton news-wise, but there was an audio clip that I wanted you to hear. We have talked a lot on this podcast about Trey Lance, especially lately. Certainly I have. I'm going to play some sound from Ian Rappaport of NFL Network talking about the 49ers quarterback situation, but I promise you I'm not going to talk about Trey Lance specifically afterwards. Just bear with me. Let's get to the Brock Purdy part because you're right. There had been a lot of discussion, especially right after his surgery, the optimism that, oh, yeah, he'll be ready for the season, be throwing after three months, and then at that point he'll be ready for – Training camp will be throwing in training camp. This is the first time that a member of the 49ers organization has been out front and very honest and transparent and say, we do not know if he's going to be ready. Kyle Shanahan said after three months, they're going to know, is it a six-month recovery or is it a four-month recovery? He opened up the door for potentially for Brock Purdy not even being ready by week four. Like That would be significant and to me. That sort of explains why the signing of Sam Darnold was so important. We do not know what Trey Lance is going to be if he continues the trajectory that he's been on and I think certainly it seems Sam Darnold will more likely than not be the starter going into the season but there is an opportunity for someone to step in there and start a first couple games of the regular season for the 49ers. Contrary to what many fans believe I swear to you NFL insiders do not flat out make things up. People are really quick to throw out the clickbait label or anything like that whenever they hear something that they don't like. But I've been in the sports media for 15 years. Please, please listen to me. It almost never happens. I'm telling you, if an insider says something, it is because they are hearing it from somewhere. So the interesting thing for me about this clip isn't so much that Rappaport ignores Stray Lance completely. It's the fact that he has this information at all, that he's saying this publicly. Someone somewhere is telling Ian Rappaport that Trey Lance is spiraling downward and and Sam Darnold's going to take that job. What happened to the whole 49ers don't leak thing? Wasn't that like an idea that everyone said when Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch took over, right? That's the thing. 49ers don't leak. 49ers don't leak. They took Trey Lance. 49ers don't leak. They're leaking now, right? Somebody's telling a national insider that Sam Darnold is likely the week one starter. Now, I suppose could be Darnold's agent. That's possible. Guys do favors for agents all the time in the insider business, but that doesn't really help Sam Darnold at this point. He's already got the job, right? He has the contract with the 49ers. So what does talking him up in March really do for his clients? I don't know that it's going to be Darnold's agent. I wonder if Kyle Shanahan, though, is going to have to like circle the wagons on this one, right? Try and find out who the leak might have been. Or maybe Kyle likes it. Hey, maybe it's him, right? He's leaking it himself to try and light a fire under Trey Lance. I sure hope that that's not the case. Like, does Trey Lance really need any extra motivation at this point? He hasn't played a game in two years. His job is slipping further and further away. Does he really need one more thing to be piled on top of his shoulders? Like, Oh, sure, my lifelong dream is slipping away, but Sam Darnold's likely going to be the week one starter. That's it. Now I'm really mad. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Thursday. We are officially in the offseason, which in many ways is the season of hope. So if you want to be hopeful about Javon Kinlaw's prospects with the team, go to NBC Sports Bay Area and check out Matt Mayoko's latest He spoke to John Lynch about the former first round pick at the league meetings. One thing to watch, George Kittle appeared on the Bussin' with the Boys podcast, and I believe that episode dropped today at 6 a.m. Eastern time, so you may want to go and check that out. One thing you may have missed, the NFL is going to be able to force teams to play multiple Thursday night football games this year, and as you would expect, players aren't too happy about it. Patrick Mahomes tweeted out a face palm when he saw the news, and the aforementioned George Kittle wrote on Instagram, quote, Who agreed to the extra Thursday night game? Wasn't me. At NFL, at NFLPA. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody. Stay tuned for the Gold Standard Podcast with myself, Levin Black, and special guest, 
from the SF Niners, Brad Graham, joined us for the show for a more positive take from us for a change. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. We'll talk tomorrow. 